Assalamualaikum and good day. Now you are going to learn how to solve linear algebra equations by using LU factorization method. In LU factorization, we have two steps. The first one is LU decomposition. The matrix A is decomposed or factored into a product of two matrices L, lower triangular matrix, and U, upper triangular matrix. That means we have to find what is our matrix L, lower triangular matrix, and what is our matrix U, upper triangular matrix. In step 2, we have to do the substitution. In this step, consists of two steps which are forward and backward substitution. In forward substitution, equation 3, which is LD equal to B, is used to generate an intermediate vector D. We know what is our L. We know what is our B. We have to find what is our D. Then, the vector D is substituted into equation 2, which we substitute here to obtain the solution of X in backward substitution step. In LU factorization method, we know that in the first step is LU decomposition. That means matrix A is decomposed factored into a product of two matrices L and U. That means we have to find what is our matrix L and what is matrix U. There are three types of method to find matrix L and U. The first one is cross elimination method as LU. Second is cross method and the third one is Koleski method. Now we look at the first method, Gauss elimination method as LU factorization. This method also known as a do-little decomposition, which is the element of lower triangular matrix are ones on the main diagonal. For example, if we have 3 by 3 matrix, our matrix L, which is lower triangular matrix, is given by, we have at the main diagonal is 1. At the second row, we have element for L21. At the third row, we have L31 and L32. Above the main diagonal, we have element 0. Gauss elimination as LU decomposition and F Gauss elimination are equally efficient. Gauss elimination as LU decomposition is more time consuming since the elimination step is done only on the matrix A. Forward elimination step in Naive Gauss elimination method can be used to decompose A into L and U. In Gauss elimination method, from forward elimination step, we want to reduce matrix A to a matrix which Below the main diagonal is 0. This gives us matrix U. Matrix L can be obtained from the multiplier of each row operation. Therefore, we have matrix A equal to matrix L times matrix U. We got matrix U from the reduce matrix A to the upper triangular matrix while matrix L, the main diagonal is equal to 1. We have to find what is our L21, L31 and L32. L21 is equal to negative of M21. L31 is equal to negative of M31. And L32 is equal to negative of M32. What is M21, M31, and M32? We get this from the multiplier of each row operation where this is our M31. This is our M21. 
this is our M31 and this is our M32 now we look at this example solve the following equations by using gauss elimination as lu factorization first we need to write this equation into matrix form ax equal to b so we have matrix a And then matrix X in variable X, Y, Z. And we have matrix B, 13, negative 1, 14. For LU factorization method, we just reduce matrix A to upper triangular matrix. We want to make it below the main diagonal here equal to 0. So After we, we get below the main diagonal is 0, that will give us matrix U. So from here, we get our matrix U. Now, we want to find what is our lower triangular matrix. We know that the main diagonal for matrix L needs to be 1. Above the main diagonal is 0. Below the main diagonal, which is L to 1 is equal to negative M to 1. L3, 1 is equal to negative M3, 1. And L3, 2 is equal to negative of M3, 2. Where M21, M3, 1 and M3, 2 we get from the multiplier of the row operation which is you can see here m21 is equal to negative 2 4 m31 is equal to negative 1 4 and here is our m32 this is our m32 when we simplify, we will get negative 1 over 10. This is the value of negative M21 after we simplify. This is negative of M31 and this is negative M32. So, after we get our matrix L and U, next what we should do is we set up LD equal to B. We know our L, we know our B from the system of linear equation, D is our B, we need to find what is our D. Solve D by using forward substitution which is we use the equation from the first row here. We solve D by using forward substitution, which is from the first row. We take equation from the first row. That will give us D1 plus 0 D2 plus 0 D3 equal to 13. And then from the second row, we get 1 over 2 D1 plus d2 plus 0 times d3 equal to 0 equal to negative 1. So we know our d1 equal to 13 plus d2 equal to negative 1. So here our d2 equal to negative 1 minus negative 13 over 2 will give us negative 15 over 2. And then from the last row, we have 1 over 4 d1 minus 1 over 10 d2 plus d3 equal to 14. We know our d1 equal to 13, so we just substitute 
D1 equal to 13 minus we know our D2 equal to negative 15 over 2 plus D3 equal to 14. We solve this, we will get D3 equal to 10. So from here, we get our matrix D. Next, we have to set up ux equal to d. We know our u. We know our d. So that we can solve for x1, x2, x3. Or for, uh, in the example, we use the variable x, y, z. So here, we can write this as variable x y and z okay to solve for x we have to use backward substitution which is we choose equation from the last row because in the last row contains many zeros so we can write 0 x plus 0 y plus 5 over 2 z equal to 10 that will give us z equal to 4 or here here we can write this as z and then from the second row we have 0x minus 5 over 2y plus 0 equal to negative 15 over 2 so for y we will get equal to 3 and then from the first row we have equation for x plus 3y plus 2z equal to 10 sorry equal to 13 substitute we know our x we don't know our x sorry we don't know our x we know our y which is 3 Plus, we know our z equal to 4 equal to 13. So, for x, we will get negative 1. So, the solution that we want to find is x, which is x equal to negative 1, y equal to 3, and z equal to 4.